for some creative nursing videos subscribe to the nursing world i'll drop the link in description in this video we will talk about the interpretation of abg before we get into the interpretation of abg we will first see what is abg abg stands for arterial blood gases it is a test to measure the acidity or alkalinity of your arterial circulation it also measures carbon dioxide and oxygen in the arterial blood the four important components that are included in ABG are pH, HCO3 or bicarbonate, PaCO2 and PaO. Let's talk about these components one by one. The first is the pH. It is the measure of acidity or alkalinity of your blood. The less the pH, the more it is acidic and the more pH, the more alkaline it is. The normal value for pH of arterial blood is 7.35 to 7.45. The next is the PaCO2 which is the measure of carbon dioxide. The amount of carbon dioxide in our body is regulated by the lungs. The normal value for uh, PaCO2 is 35 to 45 mm of Hg. The next is the HCO3. It is the measure of bicarbonates in the blood. Remember bicarbonates are basic and uh, the amount of bicarbonates in our body is regulated by kidneys. The normal value for bicarbonates is 22 to 26 milli equivalents per liter. The last is the PaO2 which is the measure of oxygen in the arterial blood. The normal value for PaO2 is 80 to 100 mm of Hg. So now let's dive into the steps of ABG interpretation. There are basically three steps of ABG interpretation. The first is to identify if it is acidosis or alkalosis. The second is to identify if it is respiratory or metabolic. And the last is to identify if it is compensated or decompensated. So let's see the first step. The first step is to identify if it is acidosis or alkalosis. We know that the normal range of pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So the pH less than 7.35 indicates acidosis and the pH more than 7.45 means alkalosis. The less the pH, the more is the acidic character and the more the pH, the more is the basic character. Let's do some examples on it. Let's suppose we have a pH of 7.31. We can compare it to the normal range and see that it is uh, less than 7.35. So we can say that the patient is having acidosis. Again, if the pH is 7.50, we can compare it to the normal range and we can see that this is more than 7.45, which means the patient is having alkalosis. So this was the first step. The second step is to identify if it is metabolic or respiratory. The important concept to remember here is that carbon dioxide in our body is regulated by lungs and HCO3 in our body is regulated by kidneys. So the abnormality in the level of carbon dioxide indicates the respiratory condition and the abnormality in the level of bicarbonate indicates metabolic condition. So let's do some examples on it. If we have a, an ABG of uh, pH 7.25, PaCO2 50 mm of Hg and HCO3 24 mm of Hg. Looking at the pH, we can see that it is below the normal value, so we can conclude that the patient is having acidosis. And when we look at the PaCO2, which is more than the normal range of 35 to 45, we can conclude that uh, it is out of the normal range and the patient is having a respiratory condition. When we look at the HCO3 level, we can see that it is within the normal range, so HCO3 is normal, so we can conclude by this that the patient is having respiratory acidosis. The next example, pH of 7.56, CO2 28 and HCO3 22. When we look at the pH, we can see that it is more than normal. So we can say that the patient is having alkalosis and looking at the carbon dioxide level, it is less than the normal range, which means the patient is having a respiratory condition. And again, the HCO3 level is within the normal range. So HCO3 is normal. So we can conclude in this example that the patient is having a respiratory alkalosis. Another example, pH of 7.25, CO2 37 and HCO3 21. When we compare the pH to the normal range, we can see that uh, it is below the normal and conclude that the patient is having acidosis. When we compare PaCO to the normal range, we can see that it is within the normal range. So the patient is ha not having any respiratory condition. And uh, now going to HCO3, it is 21, which is below the normal range. And we can conclude that the patient is having a metabolic condition. So the patient in this example is having metabolic acidosis. The last example, pH of 7.56, PaCO2 40 and HCO3 35. 
looking at the pH we can compare it with the normal level and see it is more than the normal value and the, uh, conclude that the patient is having alkalosis looking at the PaCO2 uh, this is within the normal range of 35 to 45 so the patient is not having any respiratory condition looking at the HCO3 level we can see that uh, it is out of normal range it should be 22 to 26 but it is 35 which is more than normal and we can uh, say that the patient is having a metabolic condition so in this condition the patient is having metabolic alkalosis so this was the second step the third step is to identify if it is compensated or decompensated the concept of compensation applies here as see if we have a respiratory condition it may be respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis the metabolic system tries to compensate here by increasing or decreasing the amount of bicarbonate in the system like if we have respiratory acidosis which means we are having more acid in the body the metabolic system increases the level of uh, bicarbonates in the body so that more and more acid is neutralized and the ph is uh, within the normal range also if we are having respiratory alkalosis which means we are having more bases in the body the metabolic system here tries to compensate by decreasing the amount of bicarbonates in the body similarly in metabolic conditions of uh, metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis the respiratory system tries to compensate by increasing or decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the blood like if you have metabolic acidosis means we are having a, a lot of acids in the body and uh, the respiratory system here tries to compensate by decreasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the uh, body and in case of metabolic alkalosis the respiratory system increases the amount of carbon dioxide in the system so that more and more bases are neutralized and the pH is back to normal range so let's do some examples on this suppose we have a pH of 7.35 CO2 of 50 and HCO3 of 49 we can compare the pH to the normal range which is 7.35 to 7.45 and it is less than the normal so we can say that the patient is having acidosis when we look at the carbon dioxide level and compare it to the uh, normal range which is 35 to 45 it is more than the normal and we know that carbon dioxide corresponds to acids so we can say that the patient is having a respiratory condition also the levels of bicarbonates in the body is higher than the normal which means the body is trying to compensate uh, for the acidosis by increasing the uh, amount of bases in the body so the compensation is going on which means the patient is having a respiratory acidosis and compensation going on now how can we say if it is full or partial compensation we need to go back to the ph and compare it to the normal level if it is within the normal range that is full compensation means the body was successful in bringing the pH to the normal range and if it is out of normal range it is partial compensation because uh, it indicates the body was not fully successful in bringing the pH to the normal range so here it is a partial compensation because the pH is out of normal range another example pH 7.50 carbon dioxide 51 and HCO 341 looking at the pH we can see that it is uh, more than the normal and we can conclude that the patient is having alkalosis the patient is having increased carbon dioxide level but we know that carbon dioxide corresponds to acids and it cannot cause alkalosis we see that the hco3 is 41 which is more than the normal and we can say that the patient is having a metabolic condition so the patient here is having metabolic alkalosis when we look at the carbon dioxide level we see that it has increased above the normal range which means the body is trying to compensate for the alkalosis by increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the body so here is the compensation going on and uh, when we look at the ph which is uh, out of normal range we can say that it is partial compensation so the patient is having metabolic alkalosis with partial compensation now the last example the ph of 7.35 carbon dioxide 49 and hco 330 here we see that the pH is normal which is 7.35 now how can we say if the patient is having acidosis or alkalosis there are basically two methods here to uh, interpret acidosis or alkalosis the first is no to know your patient's diagnosis if the patient has come to you uh, for a respiratory condition like COPD or respiratory failure this means the patient is retaining more and more carbon dioxide and this has led to the acidosis and also the carbon dioxide level is high we can say that the patient is having a respiratory acidosis and increased bicarbonate levels indicate compensation going on for the respiratory acidosis alternatively if the patient has diarrhea or vomiting which means we are losing more and more acids 
we can say that the patient is having metabolic alkalosis with uh, uh, compensation going on due to the increased levels of carbon dioxide the next method here is acidic side slash alkalotic site we know that more the pH more is the alkaline nature and less the pH more is the acidic nature so the normal range of pH is 7.35 to 7.45 there are basically two sides of the normal range of uh, pH the acidic side and the basic side the lower side of the values from 7.35 to 7.39 belong to the acidic side and the values belonging to the upper range 7.41 to 7.45 belong to the alkalotic side because this indicates more pH. So when we see our pH in the light of these concepts, we can say that our pH is 7.35 which is in the acidic side. So we can say that the patient is having acidosis. And when we see the carbon dioxide level which has increased more than normal, so means this uh, the patient is having respiratory condition, the respiratory acidosis. And the bicarbonate levels are also high which means there is compensation going on by increasing the level of bicarbonates in the body and when we again look at the pH we see that it is within the normal range so the patient is having full compensation so we can conclude that in this example the patient is having a respiratory acidosis with full compensation so that was all about the ABG interpretation